So a few months back we made a video where we were using a biodynamic tree paste, paramagnetic tree paste um, on one of our trees here on the farm. Um, had a lot of people ask me for that recipe, so I'm going to try to show you and share that with you today. Um, the primary ingredients for this paste, the version that we're making, which is based on Harvey Lyle's recipe, which was based on Peter Escher's recipe from the 50s. Um, this one's going to use two cups of compost, one cup of the salt powder, or we say paramagnetic rock powder. The salt is probably the most preferable, but you could use other rock powders as well, like granite. That's the first step, and we're gonna add some more stuff to this. We're gonna be, we're gonna go over to the blender. Um, we're gonna add linseed oil and water and Ormus, monoatomic gold. So, let's go over to the blender. These biodynamic tree pastes were first formulated by Peter Escher, who was a Swiss-born horticulturalist back in the 50s. And they were first made out of bentonite clay and cow manure. You would then thin that paste to be a sufficiently thin enough to spread. In 1988, Harvey Lyle reformulated the paste to produce a paste with good paramagnetic properties. This was made to be brushed on the trunk um, of the tree to up to several feet in height, depending on the size of the tree. Both the compost and the basalt have excellent paramagnetic properties. The linseed oil is the drying agent and helps with the weather resistance of the final application. Other rock powders can be used as well besides basalt. Granite would be a good option. Limes and clays would not impart those paramagnetic forces, so those would be more avoided. The main functions of this tree paste are repelling or guarding against injury to the trunk from such insects as the peach borer, shot hole borers, etc to repel or guard against animal injury from rabbits, mice, and deer, protection for incipient cracks at the bark or in the bark at the trunk limb junctions, antibacterial and antifungal properties, healing properties to prevent scald and winter injury to the bark, and to create a field of force which is beneficial to the tree health and growth, which is the paramagnetism. These pastes are great to apply three times a year, spring, summer, and fall. Um, and the, this, this, this um, recipe, I'm adding monoatomic gold Ormus. And it was an intuitive addition, and the more research I did on Ormus, the more it made sense. So here we are at the blender. We're going to blend up this paramagnetic tree paste. We have the two cups of compost and one cup of basalt powder already in here. Now we're going to add three tablespoons of linseed oil. Add all this to the blender. So far we've just got the rock powder, the compost, and the linseed oil. We've got two more ingredients. Okay, I'm going to add just a little bit of water. The water is just to make it thin enough to brush onto the tree. I'm going to add a little bit of the water and then I, I, I intuitively started adding Ormus, monoatomic gold, and then did a bunch of research on it and found that there are lots of studies already with plant growth and Ormus orbitally rearranged monoatomic elements. Nine drops is what I'm using in my recipe here. That is definitely something you can vary. Okay, we're going to add a little more water. And you'll have to experiment on your water levels to get the, the viscosity that's desirable. Okay, 
I've got a pretty good paste consistency. You can see that it's just a really thick sludge, basically. Really interesting article by Dennis Cooney on monoatomic gold and the large study about plants and ormus done in China. You can read that online. So we're gonna put this paste into a container and now it's gonna be ready to apply to the, to the base of a tree. I use these in conjunction with these revitalizers which are a Lakovsky ring basically attached. It's insulated all through here. At any point it might contact the wood for when the wood's wet. You don't want it to ground out your ring. But we're gonna have this facing south like we would the antennas, collecting telluric current, the magnets are in line, voltaic stack, and that will help to charge the ring. And that will go around the section of the tree that has the paste applied to it. And these are available on thefertilecurrent.com if you wanna check them out. So I'm gonna go get a brush and we're gonna go put it on a tree. Okay, we got a brush, we got our paste. We're gonna apply a summer application to this little golden rain tree. You ready? Get some paste. <laughs> I think the cat and the dog are very interested here. This is snake. That's crouton. So you're just gonna coat, depending on the size of the tree. This is kind of a small little tree, so we'll probably put it about a foot and a half up or so. all the way to the bottom. <laughs> oh, hey, you don't wanna do that. It's obviously got a vibe the cat's like. Okay, I'm gonna come up right over this knot. Magnetic north facing that way. That's where the opening of the coil will go. This would be facing south in that case, lining everything up properly. I'll adjust this with a compass after I have it in a little bit. But I have some directional markings here from my installed antennas that kind of let me know which way that is already. There we go.